So, welcome to recent Stu Reviews. Uh, Stu here, just going to go over a, a quick review of the Nautilus 2 tank, which I was lucky enough to be given recently. Um, also, Blue Star Liquid, which is 50 50 juices, 50 50 meaning 50 PG, 50 VG. Um, got Pink Lemonade, Dr. Pepper, which, well, Dr. Pep, which is obviously it's Dr. Pepper, and Cherry Cola. So, First off, we're going to review the Nautilus 2 tank. I've done a written review of this, um, used it over the weekend. Been a really good tank. It's a nice hybrid tank. You've got the style as if it's a mouth to lung piece of gear. Uh, you've got the small drip tip. You've got a 0.7 coil inside. Um, it's got the variable airflow, which you should be able to see there and I've put into there the Dr. Pep by Blue Star. As I said, it is a hybrid tank. It's a good combination of mouth to lung, but it is a sub-ohm tank. Um, just to give you an example. Get some baby clouds out of it. So um, for the people going from the mouth to lung equipment over to sub ohming it's a good start couple little issues with the tank the coil does take a good 10-15 minutes to prime so once you put your juice in you're gonna have to set it aside for a bit just for the the juice to go in and prime up the coil properly um, personally I don't like the drip tip because being quite small I'm used to as you can see the Cleto 120 with the wide bore but obviously everyone has their own preferences on that with the Nautilus 2, you do get obviously the Nautilus tank with the stainless steel protective cover, which is an added bonus because on the Nautilus 1, uh, well, the original Nautilus, you got that by having to buy it separate. So getting that standard is really good. You get your standard bag of O-rings, always handy to have spares. You get your spare coil which that coil, let's have a quick look. As I said, the one in there is a 0.7. This one is... Uh... Okay, so the coil that you get in there is a 1.5. So you've got a 0.7 and a 1.5. So you've got the option for the standard mouth to lung sort of coil or the sub ohm coil. You also get a and get it out black drip tip plastic instead of the silver uh, the stainless steel sorry and of course your spare glass tube always handy to have spare of those because easy enough to break um, harder with the, the cover you obviously get your warranty card your instructions on how to how to fill the tank pretty standard stuff um, handy for the novice that is going to start using it um, and it does come in different languages on your manual so all the standard stuff in the box it is as I said a great tank for a novice you've got the, the flavor as if it's a sub ohm tank the style of a mouth to lung sort of tank but the clouds of a, a small sub ohm piece of kit. As I said, baby clouds. Overall, I would give this probably a seven now um, after using it a bit more. Flavor comes through fantastic. The coils, because they're, they're higher coils, they don't take as much volts. And to uh, sorry wattage to heat the coil up to get the cloud uh, this is currently running on 18 watts and it's a 0.72 coil so it's a nice little tank um, they are still fairly new so some places may not stock them yet 
definitely worth getting for, as I said, the novice. And if you manage to get hold of one and you're a more experienced vapor, it is an ideal spare tank in case of emergencies. So now we're going to move on to the Blue Star Juices, Dr. Pep. My mistake, that's Cherry Cola. Dr. Pep. And this one's Pink Lemonade. Uh, the These juices, as I said, they are the 50-50 mixes, PGVG. Um, they are higher milligram juices. These are uh, 212s. And I think this one, this one's an 8, so that one be less harsh on my throat. I've already put the Dr. Pep into this tank, so let's give it a try. Okay, so first of all, from the inhale, you're getting a nice mixture of berries. You are getting the throat hit, which I'm not used to because obviously it is a 12 milligram. I'm normally on threes, so um, I'm not used to the throat hit. The flavour is very enjoyable. Um, as I said, you've got the nice mixture of berries. You're getting very much like a, a nice lashing of cherries and raspberries on the inhale. Um, nothing like a Dr Pepper drink. The exhale is very bland, not much flavour there. Um, would I recommend this? To someone using a mouth long piece of kit, yes I would. Um, the flavour that you get is phenom phenomenal, uh, but not overly keen on it myself. It would probably be a bit better if they put a bit of menthol into it to give it like the fizzy feeling, as many other companies do. Okay, so I'm going to try the Cherry Cola now. Uh, I'm going to drip this onto the SMPL, which has got a 6 wrap twisted 28 gauge uh, dual build. There we go. My favorite build for flavor as you can see it's not clouding up as much which is due to it being a 50 50 juice the smell of it is nice it does just taste like a, a standard coca-cola um, flavor The flavour I would say on the inhale is very similar to gummy cola bottles. It's nice, it's sweet, the only thing is it does have the throat hit which I don't like, uh, as I said, um, because these are the 50-50 so they're more likely to be for the mouth to lung pieces of gear. The exhale you do get a nice sweet feeling which is very similar to the aftertaste from some gummy cola bottles. If this was lower milligram, it would be very enjoyable. So finally, on to the pink lemonade. which, as you can see, very runny, ideal for a 50-50 mix. Let's get that dripped on and give it a try. You're getting a nice lemonade smell coming off of it. And this one clouds up a bit more. Wow, the lemonade in that really, the lemon flavor is very much just like a, a instant sherbet lemon hit that you're getting. If it wasn't throaty, because it'd be an eight milligram this one, absolutely amazing flavor. Only thing that I find with pink lemonades, 
they do taste very much like licorice, which you are getting a very licorice aftertaste with this. The instant lemon hit is absolutely fantastic. Very similar to uh, Indulgence uh, Lemon Cloud, which I did a written review previously on Worldwide Fake and Juice Reviews. Uh, go check them out on there. There's plenty of reviews. Um, very, very similar instant flavor from that. It's just the aftertaste which is very much like a licorice. Definitely one for you to look out for, possibly getting a lower milligram version if you're sub own vapor. Um, flavor, amazing. So the range, the Cherry Cola, probably my least favorite of them all. I would probably give probably a five. Um, I'd recommend it to people that use the mouth to lung equipment. Could do with a bit of menthol to bring out the, the fizziness for a cola drink. The Dr. Pep, that would probably be my least favourite of them all, of these three. Uh, this one I'll probably only give a three because it's, it's very much lacking the flavour that it's supposed to be. It, it says Dr. Pep, everyone knows it's going to be a Dr. Pepper but it is just a mixed berries. It doesn't have that that twang that Dr. Pepper has. The Cloudy Lemonade, uh, sorry, Pink Lemonade, again, would be probably a six. It's the Pink Lemonade that does have the licorice aftertaste, which personally I'm not keen on. It may be something you enjoy, but not one of my favorites. If you're using mouse lung gear, definitely try these. Definitely worth trying for you to get the different flavors but that's the reviews for today and hopefully we'll see you soon bye